I heard about the trust um, through my local hospital. They, uh, my social worker at the hospital, she asked us all if she'd heard of the place and she asked us all if we'd like to go and that. So we uh, sort of put our names down and came and really enjoyed ourselves. I just saw a leaflet in the um, hospital um, and uh, some people said it was really good so I sort of thought that I'd just give it a go. We just come down with the, to stay in Bournemouth with the Youth Counter Trust, and like we've been uh, just we went like water sports this morning. Where did we go yesterday? We went New Forest show yesterday, which was good, um, and I think we're going to go Sunseeker tomorrow. So I mean, it's just like all all around activities. It's a free holiday, and you get to go for five days, and you get to decide every day something different what you want to do. So you get to go horse riding and bowling and go karting. And, Things that um, you wouldn't ordinarily be able to do. Uh, the place we're staying is like um, it's like a seaside resort B&B. It's really nice, and Jim and Brenda um, sort of like do all that, the cooking and the driving us around and taking us places and stuff. And it's really nice. There's a pool table. There's darts. There's board games. There's a PlayStation. There's TV. There's Sky Digital. There's a living room. There's a swimming pool. There's a sauna, there's a jacuzzi. You just do basically whatever you want, but you just get looked after. When I was 16 and I was diagnosed, um, I really felt like my life had come to a standstill. But since coming here, you do gain a lot of confidence and you do feel like you can um, face the world again with a little bit, um, a little bit more than, than you had before. Um, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma when I was 10 and I had my right leg amputated when I was 10, yeah, still 10. And um, then I had reoccurrences in my lungs, which was, I think, about four years ago and I'm all right since then. Well, I had a tumour in my face um, last year and um, I just thought it would be like a really good break away from like all the hospitals and like Adults, no, it's like a really good idea, I think. There's like lots of activities you can do. When we got down here, Jim and Brenda have been very kind. And uh, it's a lot of laughs. You come down and you get with your friends. It's just somewhere where you can chill together. It's just refreshed. It's just a break. I mean, I know um, if, if you're in the middle of treatment or you've recently finished treatment, it's, it's really nice um, to get away. Um, and it's just complete escapism. You don't have to go to hospitals. You don't have to think about your families and the effect it's having on them. And it's um, it's just a break from our normal lives. And it's it's just a reminder, actually, to us. I think of the bond that we all share. So, you know, a facility like this can be used in lots of different ways. I mean, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have met some great friends that I've made here, and I wouldn't have had the opportunity to come and meet people in similar situations to me that you don't usually get to meet in hospitals or whatnot. You know, you might know, but they're ill in, in a different setting to what you usually know. And it just provides a great opportunity for, for people in similar situations to you and just get out and just sort of just let loose a little bit, I think. And, it, and it's really important to do that. I think it's a good release. It's a good, time, a good place to relax and just enjoy yourself without any trouble of worrying about anything that you've just had done or you know everyone's kind of like in the, in the same kind of boat so you all had some sort of problem so it's nice because no one's very no one's judgmental or anything like that it's like team activities really just chilling out and having a good time like today we've just gone go-karting um which was brilliant and only a bit of fun but a bit competitive um uh yesterday we all just kind of had a bit of a heavy day so we just kind of had an evening out and just took it easy. The rest of the week we just um, got access to a swimming pool which is obviously really nice and we can just kind of do whatever you want, take it, take it easy. We're from um, the Free Spirit 2002 group. Um, it's just, a, as well as being a reunion, it's just a good fun time to catch up about what's been going on in our lives and health-wise and everything. I think it's beneficial because it's, you can really relax, you just be yourself and just not have any, you haven't got to worry about anything while you're here, you got to, you know, it doesn't cost anything for you to come, things like that, so I, I think all teenagers should get the opportunity to come if they choose to. Um, we can do some things like the horse riding, or we can go out on some jet and um, water skis, um, or just go on a boat ride, it's like the sun seeker. 
Um, but it's all good, whatever you do, you have a good time. Well, there's lots of different things to do. Um, I've been getting to play a bit of my music and you're never really sure what's going to happen next. Whoa. I mean, it just gives like a great opportunity for you to get away and your family to get a break because I mean it can get very in intensive when, during, when you're going through your treatment or whatever and you just finish your treatment. You need that sort of break to get away from it all and your family needs that break to sort of have time to sort of sit back and look at what's happened and just break away from it and this provides a great opportunity for that. I think they're very much needed um, and uh, really important. Um, it's important for young people who've had an illness like cancer to have somewhere, have a retreat, have somewhere they can get away and not have to worry about, you know, paying for it and, you know, it's such a nice location as well. It's ideal. It gives, like, kids with cancer and, what, and kids that are ill a chance to, like, get away from it all. If people were planning to give money, donate money to the Youth Cancer Trust, then I would say it was a really, really good idea because anyone that comes here will really enjoy it and it's worth doing it. And this place has meant so much to me that I've actually made Brenda the godmother of my baby. So it's, it's, it's looking, um, the future is definitely looking brighter. I would say definitely go for it because it's really, really fun and you'd like it and really enjoy it. Everyone, my age, at least, that's been through something that we have, should come down and at least give it a go. Because you'd be amazed how nice it is, really. The Youth Cancer Trust was established in 1997 by Brenda Clark and John Scott OBE, after Brenda lost her only child at the age of 21 to cancer. Since that date, hundreds of youngsters have stayed at Tracy Ann House for a holiday of a lifetime. If you're in contact with any young person aged 14 to 25 with cancer who will benefit from a break, or if you feel you can help us in any way, please contact us at the address or telephone number coming up shortly. <laughs>